Are you in the club? Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. It's Kaylee, and today I'm going to show you how to make this awesome duct tape pencil case. For this project, you'll need duct tape in any color or pattern that you want, some Velcro, a measuring tape, fabric, I'm using felt, and a pair of scissors. For the first step, I'm going to measure out my fabric to be completely square. So I'm going to do 20 by 20 centimeters. Once you have the fabric cut to size, turn it over on the wrong side and start covering it with duct tape. You want your pieces to slightly overlap. Once you have the fabric completely covered, you can go ahead and flip it over and trim off the extra duct tape. And now it should look like this. Okay, once all the edges are trimmed, you're ready to fold it. So fold it about two thirds of the way up and fold the top piece over. And once you have it in the size you'd like, we're going to apply more duct tape to the sides to keep it together. I'm going to apply the duct tape about halfway up and then cut it and then fold over that piece to the back. And then once you have it folded down, just go ahead and trim this piece on the back. And do the same thing on the other side. Now to hem the top edges, I'm just gonna put some duct tape here on the side and make sure it's in a straight line and then bend that over the back and trim that edge as well. Make sure not to cut into the felt part. Same thing on the other side. And I think it makes it nice and neat when you can keep the pattern going in the same direction. And now we're going to do the same thing on the top. I was going to try to make the pattern go in the same way on this side, but I realized it's easier and it makes a neater line if you go the other direction. So I just laid one piece of tape across there and folded it in half. And now we are ready to apply the Velcro. You can find Velcro in little circles, but I didn't have any on hand, so I'm just going to cut a little piece and cut the same size on the other side. Okay, and now we can peel off the back. First I'm going to unvelcro it. I'm going to put the soft side on the bottom of the case. Actually, it really doesn't matter which side you do the soft part on. 
just as long as they match up. It's very sticky. And now we can close the case. So then once you have your Velcro applied, you can just close your pencil case like that and open it up to put pencils inside. And since there's felt inside, you can also use this as a sunglasses case. All right guys, what do you think? I love how this turned out. If you wanna see more back to school craft tutorials like this one, just click on the thumbs up. This is Kaylee for DCTC, and thanks for watching!